My name is Andrew Brzezanson. I'm with Ninja Tech, makers of NinjaFlex. And we have a background in extrusion. We've extruded urethane for over 50 years for conveyor belting. We were able to take all of that capability and capacity and turn it into a new market. And we launched NinjaFlex, and then came out with SemiFlex, and then we launched two new materials at the show today. The two new materials that we launched today are Cheetah and Armadillo. Cheetah is the same durometer as our SemiFlex, but prints at much higher speeds, three to four times faster than any of their flexibles that are currently on the market. It's a 98A durometer and is very good for impact resistance, um, durability, and strength. And then we also launched Armadillo, which is a very hard, rigid material, but it still is a thermoplastic urethane. The question was, is there more demand for materials like this? And our, our goal is to launch materials that are engineering grade, so that you can prototype in the materials you're gonna to go to production in. Some of the materials can be overlooked. Um, I think a lot of it is about educating the customer base um, to let know what the uses are for, other than just some toys and trinkets. For us, it's meaningful products that you could use in the real world for prototyping and actually use parts in your, um, in your facilities. We actually have started, started developing case studies showing the uses. We had one that we developed. It was part of our dryer system that our, our raw materials go through um, as they're dried before they, we extrude. And what was happening in our vacuum hose was some of the pellets were getting sucked up in. So we were actually able to print out a small filter with very tiny holes, allow the air to travel through, but keep the pellets from going up into the, into the dryer system. Um, what it did was also create an airtight seal, which you're, you don't get with any of the other rigid materials. In 2016, we will be launching Cheetah in about two weeks. We have Armadillo coming out next month, and then we plan on launching two to three more materials by the summer, and then another few more in the fall.